just have to sell your soul So we've been to a health spa, we've played a few rounds of golf in preparation of what is going to be an unbelievable tough run of games. We've got to go to Chelsea, then we've got to play Arsenal, and then we've got to play Manchester City. The games are coming thick, fast, and unbelievably hard. You know, the last time we played, we lost 3-0 to Manchester United. I can't have a go at anybody because we played well. We had opportunities. Benzir hit the post, early doors. We had... Ward Prowse and Eduardo in the centre of the park, 16 and 18 years old, dominating at times. So I can't be critical, but hopefully the relaxation of a nice spa, a few rounds of golf has prepared the lads in the best way possible. And looking at this table, it's not that bad. Come on, three wins, six draws, one loss. We're hard to beat. We're five points off being in third place. That's not really bad at this, you know. I think we're doing better this time of the season than we were last time, you know, last season. So I don't think it's that bad. I think it's a positive. I think this is a strong side. Look at that. Diami, Sizoko. Benzir playing well. He keeps his place. Filippo is always playing well. He's, he's first name on the team sheet. And Filippo has the ball in the centre of the park. Nothing on. He has to give it to Sizoko. Sizoko turns. Just a wall of black shirts. He feeds it into Diami. Diami knocks it back to Spence. Never scared to go back. Spence gives the ball back to Diami. And again, it's just a black wall of shirts. He spreads the play to Potsy. Potsy into Filippo. Filippo spots... Josie, Josie's got a bit of space, he turns, he shoots! Oh, what a save by the keeper! Petr Cech, take a bow, son, world-class save, and Chelsea come flying at us. Catches on the counter-attack. They attack in such numbers, at such speed. Diami's the man closing down, putting in a great shift. Sizoko is the man getting a header. And it was Torres with the cheeky over the overhead kick. Audacious attempt now, I've got to say. And sorry, it was Spence at right-back who came across and covered. But again... Chelsea, wave after a wave of attack. One man's got a great opportunity. He cuts into the box, has a shot, and thankfully the ball goes wide. Zizoko has the ball in the centre of the park. He feeds it into Diami. Diami feeds it into Gabs. Gabs was surely fouled, ref. Come on, man. What is going on? Chelsea break yet again. High pace. Slick football. Unbelievable football. They feed the ball out to the left-hand side. A great ball over the top to Fernando Torres. Torres has got great time. He gets the ball in. And look at that. Spence with the header yet again clears the danger. The ball's picked up with Benzir. Benzir on the right-hand side. He has to cut his eye because there's another gun. He gives it to Diami. Diami feeds it into Zizoko. Centre of the park. He knocks it into Gabs. Gabs spreads the play to Benzir. Benzir has to come back in because there's nothing on. So many black shirts. Zizoko has the ball. He again spreads the play to Potsy. Potsy cuts back inside. He gives it to Zizoko. Nothing on. Suzoko goes over to the right-hand side. Still nothing on. He cuts back inside. Josie's made a move. He turns. He breaks into the box. He shoots. Oh, my God. What a save, Petr Cech. The second time he's denied Josie from a, an absolute blinding goal. And we go in at half-time. Chelsea nil. West Ham nil. And again, we come out. Chelsea are all over us. Absolutely all over us. Fernando Torres picks the ball up in the middle. A great turn. Breaks our defence. Into the box. Has a shot. And it's deflected wide for a corner. Unbelievable forward play there from Torres. Ball comes in. Great defending by Diami. The ball's knocked down to Filippo. Filippo's got nothing on in front of him. He cuts inside his own box, which is really, really dangerous. He plays it into Tank. Tank knocks it out to Benzir. The game has opened up. Benzir has got stacks of space to run into. He runs into it, but Ashley Cole comes across. He turns inside, knocks it into Gabs. Gabs feeds it forward to Josie. Josie spots Filippo. Filippo takes one touch. He shoots. Oh, my God. Pick that out, Chelsea. 1-0, Filippo. That was an unbelievable goal. What amazing football. Filippo started the move in his own penalty area. And there he is coming in one touch. Top quarter. Oh my day, son. Take a bow. Take a bow. World class finish. Again, Filippo has the ball on the left hand side. He's marauding forward to the head, to the byline. Referee, do something about Chelsea. That's disgraceful. Book him, man. All over him all day long. Absolute disgrace. If you want to ask him out, ask him. That's a disgrace. All over him. Ridiculous. About time Chelsea were punished for that. Really, it's about time. Chelsea make a substitute. They bring on Sturridge. They've got more pace to add to our woes. And Filippo weighs up the free kick. Is he gonna make is he gonna is he gonna benefit us? Can he get it on someone's head? Ball comes over! Great defending by Chelsea, I have to say. Great defending. And again, Chelsea make another substitute. They're they're starting to panic. 
They need to get numbers on the pitch. They need to get some pace on the pitch. They need to start attacking us even more. We have a throw in. Benzir's going to take it. He throws it into Sissoko. Sissoko majestically cuts inside. He feeds it into Gabs. Gabs spots the army. Puts the ball over. The army goes for the head. And he's collided with the centre. It looks like the centre back. He's gone down. He's staying down. The army's down. The army's down. This does not look good. This does not look good good as you can see the lads are shaking their heads they know that's quite a serious injury we're not 100% sure what is wrong with the army at this point but it does not look good it really does not look good for the army that's a huge blow an absolute huge blow the army is okay we're playing like absolute tanks in the center of the park absolute tanks Fernando Torres picks up the ball he switches it out to the Chelsea dirty right back who's been rightfully booked Torres with the shot, and thankfully, we're defending stoutly. And Chelsea yet again waste a glorious opportunity. Can we hold on? 80 minutes on the clock. Gabs has the ball in the centre of the park. He goes forward. He feeds it into Filippo. Filippo with another shot. Great save by Petacek. Sissoko! Oh my days! That is unbelievable! That was... Oh my god, that was a world-class save. Petacek, take a bow. An absolute certain goal from Sissoko and a magnificent save. Unbelievable. Noble with the ball on the edge of the box. He turns. He has a crack and it takes a slight deflection and it's easy for Petr Cech. 83 minutes gone. We're now in the 84th minute. We've just got to see time out. Fantastic performance by the lads. One matter on the right hand side. He feeds the ball into Sturridge. Sturridge cuts inside. We go over to mark him. He cut silly dive and tackle. And Fernando Torres has just... No, it's Raul Morales. He's in there because basically I didn't have the uh, download latest gameplay. So obviously he's in here, unfortunately, because he didn't transfer. 90th minute. There's three injury minutes to play. Chelsea with a hopeful ball forward. The ball's chipped over. Fernando Torres in the 90th minute makes it 1-1. Un Bloody believable. We've soaked up the pressure for 90 minutes. We've played some majestic football, but a great chip over the top, and Torres finishes. The game ends 1-1. Really, really disappointed. I think overall a 1-1 draw is really fair. Chelsea wasted a glut of chances. We played really well. It's the best defending I've seen, apart from the 90th minute when we dived in. Really unfortunate, and now we're going to find out how long Diami is out for. Hopefully, just for a couple of weeks. Hopefully, it's nothing major. Hopefully, it was it's just a slight knock, and it'll all be good. And no, it's a broken ankle. Diami is going to be out of the side for three months. Three months without our talisman Diami. This is not good. This really is not good. It's devastating. Absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating. So Ward Prowse is going to step into his position. The lad's playing well. He's still young, but he's playing really well. And we're going to entertain Arsenal at home at Upton Park in front of the best supporters the world has ever seen. Can we get a result? Were we unlucky against Chelsea? We defended magnificently. We defended magnificently. And hopefully we'll do well. So, looking at the squad. Sticking with the same formation. The 4 2 2 2 seems to be working at the moment. And I've got to say, the boys are looking really impressive. Filippo has, has pretty much forced me to play him up front. I bought Noble in to stick him on the, on the right-hand side. Because he's, 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 his head is going to be important. Experience absolutely vital in this game and as you can see Arsenal start off quite slowly but they've got the possession they're going to play the possession game that's what Arsenal's all about but they're going to meet their match because we love to play possession football Filippo straight away into win the ball he cuts down the left hand side miscommunication by Sanya Sanya's tracking back Filippo's making a great run he gets to the byline fantastic ball over and a header is wasted by Gabs defender got onto it but Gab should have really been sticking that in the top corner. Great corner comes in. And again, the header is wasted, unfortunately. So a great start to the game. 
We're in the sixth minute and it's all been West Ham United. The way it should be. We're playing absolute magnificent football. Great header from the back line again. Fees it into Zizoko. Zizoko knocks it into Noble. Noble cuts inside. Nearly loses the ball, but he keeps it. He spots Sterling. Knocks it to Sterling. Sterling shoots. Oh, my days. <gasps> did that go in? It did. 1-0. 1-0 West Ham. Eight minutes. That looked to have hit the post. And I think it rebounded in off the goalkeeper. Could that be the piece of luck that we've been looking for at West Ham? Fantastic move in by Noble. Look at that. Great ball. Sterling with a bit of a bad control. Hits it. Hits the post. That's brilliant. Look at the control. Miscontrols it. Has a crack at it. Hits the post. Hits the keeper. Goes in. Eight minutes gone. West Ham won. Arsenal nil. Fantastic play. But Arsenal, as normal, we've wound them up. We've scored against them. They want the ball. They're playing great football. Arteta on the edge of the area. But a great footing by Wardy Prowse. But, uh, but Arsenal regain the pressure. Have a shot. And the ball is just hit over. We pick it up with Noble. He's playing so well. Slotting into that position really well. He feeds it into Sissoko. Sissoko is under pressure. Arsenal are literally putting so much pressure on us. Gives it to Wardy Prowse. Wardy Prowse has time. He turns. Knocks the ball into Gabs. Gabs turns. He nearly loses it. But he regains the ball. He turns inside. He feeds it into Filippo. Filippo's got a great opportunity. And he spun it wide. He put the ball wide. That was an utter gift. An utter gift. And Arsenal come hammering back with a fantastic through ball. Schumack with the cross. Our Shavin comes in at the back post. And Spence does a magnificent job of putting him off. But again, Walcott has the ball. He goes out to the right-hand side. But we're doing the right thing. We're, mar we're marking him. We're marking him. We're containing him. We're containing him. Great interplay by Arsenal. Walcott comes over. Great ball in. And Wilshere manages to get ahead on the ball and make it 1-1 after 45 minutes. Great play by Arsenal. Can't take it away from them. They absolutely outplayed us there. I'm a little bit disappointed. Why was Spence marking Wilshere? One of the big lads at the back should have been marking Wilshere. That's really disappointing. Spence should have shouted, but you know, he's a young player. He's a young player. Gabs takes the, the game by a scruff of the net, gets a great cross in. And that's easy for Schnesny. He, he takes that with no problem at all, but Gabs really took the game by the scruff of the neck there. Schnesny kicks it out, and we go in at half time. West Ham won, Arsenal won, but we're playing really well. Really good football. Arsenal were looking amazing as well, to be fair. Really great. Domination of possession. And again, a great through ball to Walcott. Acres of space. Walcott is in our half. In our box. And Zizoko with an absolute monster tackle. And again, Arsenal are all over us. The pressure is unrelenting from Arsenal. It's ridiculous. Butland comes up with a world-class save. Potsy clears it. And at last, Knockart picks the ball up on the right-hand side. He turns back inside. There's nothing but yellow in front of him. He knocks it out to Spence on the right-hand side. Spence plays it into Gabs. Gabs knocks it back into Spence. Spence is rolled into the box. Gets the ball over. Josie! You know, it was Suzoko. Suzoko didn't get nothing on that header whatsoever. Unbelievable. Noble with the ball on the edge of the box. He knocks it into Gabs. Gabs turns inside. Great opportunity. He shoots. Schnezny saves. Fantastic save by Schnezny. And Arsenal again have the ball in the centre of the park. Fantastic domination. They really have dominated this entire game. We've been really lucky. And they break down the left-hand side. It's R. Shavin. But Spence has had him in his back pocket all day long. This should not be nothing to worry about. R. Shavin's cutting inside. He tries. He gets the better of Spence for once. Arsenal have a great opportunity. Great one too. But no. The tank sticks his foot in there. Great play. The ball's fed out to knock up. Knock out starts to break down the right-hand side. And the referee blows the whistle. And again... We take an early door lead and we throw it away. 1-1 just before half-time and that changed the whole complexion of the game. But I'm not going to complain. You know, who would have said that we would have got a point against Chelsea and Arsenal? You know, back-to-back -back games. These don't get any easier. We now have to go back to Manchester where we played in the Capital One Cup and got beaten by Man United. 3-0. 3-0. And we're playing against Man City. It doesn't get any easier than playing against Man City. This is going to be... A ridiculous game against a world-class side. Josie's back in the side. I put Filippo back into a camp position just to try and mix things up and see if we can uh, get a breakthrough, get a goal. You know, utilizes you know, uh, Josie's strength and power against the Man City back four. You know, he's a big lad. He's a powerful lad. 
so hopefully that will work out. Ward Prowse done me proud against Arsenal. You know, he covered a lot of ground. Constant on the move. Great simple touches. Playing really, really well. I'm so chuffed with Ward Prowse. He's an admirable replacement for Diami, who we who we know is out for three months with a broken ankle, which is really disappointed. Really disappointed about. But City come out 100 miles an hour against us. But the tank is across. Great tackle by the tank. He feeds it into Tompkins. Tompkins into Filippo. Filippo knocks it out to Spence. Spence on the right-hand side. He has to cut back inside because there's just so many Man City players in front of him. But he gives the ball away, which is really bad. Nasseri breaks down the left-hand side. He cuts inside. He gives it to Segnesson. And again, Nasseri has the ball. It's deflected. And a great save by Butland. Not the way we want to be starting. Giving the ball away the early door sloppily is really not the way we need to be starting this game. A great header by Man City, but again, you know, the future England number one makes it yet another world-class save. And we get a great opportunity with Sterling on the left-hand side. He's breaking into the box. He tries an early door shot. Surely the cross would have been better, Sterling Bay. Come on, mate. Get the ball across, Sterling. Disgrace. Filippo, nice piece of skill. Goes to the byline. Gets the ball in. And we can't connect with it. Josie couldn't get a clean connection. Hart punches it out, but it falls to Wardy Prowse. Wardy Prowse goes in the area. Has a great shot. Oh, my days. What a save by Joe Hart. Another world-class save by Joe Hart. He really is showing Butland why I suppose he is England's number one. We went in at 0-0. We come out for the second half. And City are like a scorpion. They're waiting to pounce. A great ball over the top. Fantastic shot. But again... Butland to the rescue. He really is our Superman at this moment in time. The ball is out in centre apart with Ward Prowse. He feeds it into Sissoko. Sissoko is just met by Black Shirts. He has to turn inside. Gives it to Sterling. And again, Joe Hart with a world class save. What a save. This keeper is unbeatable. Absolutely unbeatable. And we have a corner. Sterling going to knock it over. Great ball in. Unlucky not to get the header. And Man City clear the ball. But it's only as far as Tompkins. Tompkins. Tries to knock it forward, but the ball's cut out. City are breaking in numbers. Their players are getting forward so quickly. They're knocking the ball around really majestically. A little bit like ourselves, you know, a little bit like the Barcelona of East London, but they're not doing it as well, obviously. You know, they just don't have that panache like we do. But they're keeping the ball really well. Great football. Great football. Dominating us. There's a huge gap in the centre of the park. Wardy Prowse is trying to get back. And City are just taking the absolute mick, using fantastic football. They're in our box. Great foot in. Absolute great defending. The ball breaks to Sterling. He's on the left-hand side. Has he got the pace to go past Mykon? No, he doesn't. He plays it into Josie. Josie feeds it out to Sterling. He's got past him. He's got the pace to get to the byline. Can he get a decent cross in? He goes for the cross, but no. Mykon gets back and cuts it out. That's really unfortunate. City again, breaking with great football. Great possession. Feeds it into Nazari. But thankfully, Spence was there. And he stops the stops the play. And what the hell was that for? The referee has got to be having a laugh. And City, thankfully, waste the opportunity. And we're breaking down the left-hand side. The ball's fell into Wardy Prowse. Wardy Prowse is then dispossessed. But he regains the possession. And he loses it again. But he regains the possession. He's got time. He feeds into Josie. Josie pulls the trigger. Oh, Josie, Josie, Josie. What an opportunity. That was an absolute cracking opportunity for Josie. He's been scoring those for fun all season long. And City are back on the attack. Nazari! No! Butland! What a save! What a save! What a save, Butland! Unbelievable. We really are soaking up a great deal of pressure. Sterling has the ball. He knocks it to centre park to Zizoko. But City dispossess him and come flying back at us. The ball's with Nazari on the left-hand side. He cuts inside, fills it into Milner. Milner knocks it back to Nazari. Spence stands his ground. The ball's fed back into Milner. Milner cuts inside. And he's missed. He's missed. He's missed. What an opportunity. Milner has had an absolute cracking opportunity and he stuck it wide. What a miss. That will be replayed for hours upon hours in the pubs of East London. What a miss, son. Butland has a chance for a goal kick to release some pressure. He gives it out short. To Tompkins. Tompkins knocks it into the tank. Tank feeds it into Spence. Spence nearly loses it, but he feeds it inside to Zoko. Zoko gives it to Filippo. Filippo gives it inside to Gabs. Gabs cuts it outside, waiting for someone to move. Filippo moves. He then gets the ball back. He cuts inside. Great piece of skill. Great piece of skill by Filippo. He's taking a mick. He turns back inside and he's dispossessed. 
but Sissoko gets in there. Filippo gets the ball up. He cleans it up. Great ball in. And, oh, Joe Hart manages to get a hand to it. But surely that would have been a corner referee. Surely that would have been a corner. He clearly got a hand to it. Unbelievable refereeing again. The linesman's blind. Unbelievable. Mycon picks the ball up on the right-hand side. He feeds it into the centre. Into Aguero. Aguero turns. I think he was having an audacious shot there. That's ridiculous. The ball comes to Butland. And a great kick out. And the whistle goes. City nil. West Ham nil. That was a really tough game, I've got to say. Again, Man City dominated the, the possession all game long. They were phenomenal. They knocked about the ball around so slick, so fast. Their movement was magnificent. We really did defend amazingly. I'm not sure how I feel about the three results. You know, three draws, back-to-back -back draws is really disappointing. Four if you include a Stoke game. Five if you include West Bromwich Albion. Not the greatest run of form. At all. I mean, that is a world-class save. Absolute world-class save. Look at Butland. He, honestly, is such a phenomenal goalkeeper. And rightly so, he was man of the match. He played really, really, really well. I think overall, I think I would, I would happily take the three points. You know, we played against three of the best sides. Not only in English football, but in world football. We went to Chelsea. And we, at times, we outplayed them. Second half, they were just so dominant. At Arsenal, you know, the first half, we were we were quite good. A couple of lacks defending. We scored early doors. We should have capitalised. A, a sloppy goal just before half-time. We had opportunities, so we've only got ourselves to blame. Same against Man City. We didn't have many opportunities, but the opportunities we did have, you know, we could have taken them. would have been a total, totally different game. And uh, Uruguay offered me a contract. When are they going to understand? I'm not taking an international job. Unless a perfect job comes up, and then we'll think about it. But but what is the perfect job? Let me know in the comments below what you think is the perfect international job. Someone like Russia, someone like Brazil, Argentina, I don't know. You, you let me know. But whoever predicted three draws th as the results, congratulations. If you've got Xbox 360, I will be in touch with you shortly. And you guys have got 200,000 or a share of 200,000 coins. Catch you later. <laughs>